couple, Abby, Abby Clancy, appeared on ITV2's The Parent Trip, in which three celebrities and their parents go on an adventure of a lifetime. Now, Abby took her mum, Karen, on a trip across the Indian deserts. But um, audiences have commented that the most striking view was, in fact, the likeness between mother and daughter. Look at them. There they are. They look a past for sisters, couldn't they? Beautiful. Got the same features, same lovely long blonde hair. So have we um, ever noticed similarities in our looks or our mannerisms when it comes to our own mothers? And do you think that you do, in fact, turn into your mum? Yes, I have turned into my mother. And, uh, you what, Jean? Yes, I'm not a couple of Jean. A couple of Jean sat here. I don't think looks-wise we, we look, because uh, I've taken my dad's dark features, but um, I aspire to be like my mother because Aww. I admire her in so many ways. So I actually don't mind changing into her and and I, I welcome it really because she's always been very nurturing and uh, I, I, I want to be like her really but it's so funny because she'll say things like don't start doing things now you know like with, with Ed start as you mean to go on and don't be doing that for him and yet she would be the first one to do it for my father so I'm saying hang on a minute double standards here mm. so uh, but thank you mother for all your and thank you for doing me ironing I bless you <laughs> <laughs> I love you for doing well, that you haven't aspired to that then no oh. <laughs> I can do it I just don't have much time so my no, mother no, is no, very right. I'm not criticising no very generous. she's always in the bathroom me. that's why yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a deep <laughs> rigging <laughs> And he's always in the shed. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, <laughs> well, I, maybe you ladies would agree with, with me on this, but um, I think your view of your mum changes drastically when you become a mother yourself. You appreciate um, everything that they do. And I, you know, I hope that I share um, many traits with my mum, because I think she and my dad were both really selfless when it came to putting family first. And, and that's mm. something I've definitely learned, and I really aspire to. Um, but you can see, sometimes I look at her and I think, I do that. Yeah. And my friends will say to me, all right, Sandy. Mm. And I think, oh, I am, I am it's, turning into I my mother. I think it's inevitable, because I, um, my mum and I, we've, I mean, we've had our, our kind of rows over the years, and we've been estranged, and we, and we absolutely love each other now, and everything's fantastic. But for a lot of my life, I tried to do things differently, to maybe make a point. Mm. And also, and, and then when I had Bo, I used to think, what would my mum do? And then I'd go, oh, no, I can't do that. Uh, and, and I would try and do things differently, but as time's gone on, I have become exactly the same. And I don't know if that's because I think when we all get to a certain age, we all start caring about the same things. Like when you're a parent, you care about making sure... Like I said to Bo the other day, you're not coming out with me wearing that. And by the times my mum said that to me, and I used to think I would never do what she did, and it's inevitable. And, and I'm kind of glad. I think it's... I, I like the similarities that happen between families. I think it makes you feel kind of yeah, comfy. Think, and, and on that aesthetic level as well, I, I'm always fascinated by that. Whenever there's a big family get-together, I'm, I'm one of 18 um, grandchildren. Wow. And when you look around the room, you can see the the aesthetics thread that kind of links us all yeah. we've all got the similar shaped eyes and yeah. and i think that's really quite amazing when you yeah. when you stand back and look at it my daughter looks like my nanny rose i mean yeah. she looked like my nanny rose when she was six months old i remember someone saying oh she looks just like nan and i'm like hey <laughs> she's like a, like a little sip but you can see that the, the, the but gene. See, I, as an adopted person which i can now come out about because i've written about it but i used to desperately want that and my sisters who were my parents uh, birth children um, I can tell you exactly you know they look exactly like my my mum and dad but and when I found my real mother I wanted I, I suppose unconsciously I was looking for me I was looking to see this other person look like me. in fact she was you know 78 and, and white-haired little old lady and but I, I put so much store by it until that and then I realized that I would picked up so many wonderful traits from my mum and dad who I absolutely love to pieces that it really doesn't matter and sometimes I think there's almost too much store mm. by what people children look like and I think men perhaps do this more than women you know oh he looks just like me as though that makes that's why you have a child or it, it's not it's like just it can be about a vanity what, thing with a them, vanity thing, it? it's yes. old chip off Seeing the old box, got my lovely eyes got my lovely well, chin they, they say don't they that mother nature intended it that way that children are born looking like their father in a bid to make the father bond with them yeah you know but yeah. and yet in the, you do you pick up you do pick up traits so nature over nurture for instance i when i was little people thought i was the same you know i was of my parents and my sisters and i think as i say now and, and quite honestly, you know, you could look like all your family and assume that you all had to get on, and you don't. No, of course I mean that can be a terrible misconception that My because darling, everybody looks alike. You are unique. Oh, darling, so you are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for one last.